So Greg has a serious anger management issue. Sometimes. Not all the time. All right, well... I just want to clear the air that I'm not a serial killer. Listen to the story. Make it sound like I'm some nut job. Really? Okay, well, yeah. let's listen to the story. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, it's my brother's birthday yesterday, and uh, I had to pick him up. He just bought a computer, so I was going to get him a cordless mouse. Now, a couple days prior to this, I had gone to Office Max to get a desk blotter, because, God forbid, Live on 5 supply us with office supplies. And while I was there to get this desk blotter, I wanted to get a monthly planner as well. But it was the one I wanted was in a slot that said twelve ninety nine. Bring it up to the register. They ring it up sixteen ninety nine. I said, Oh, you know what? That's supposed to be twelve ninety nine. No, actually, it's not. It's sixteen ninety nine. I said, Well, why was it in the one that had said twelve ninety nine? She said, Well, do you want it or not? And I said, Hell no, not for sixteen ninety nine. This thing's worth like a penny. No thanks. So I leave. But yesterday, I go back to the exact same office, Max, to get this cordless mouse. That was priced on the shelf at $12. Then I go to the calendar section again, figure I'd check those out again, found another one, $12.99. Go up to the register. She rings up the mouse, $49.99, and rings up the calendar, $16.99. And I said, what the hell is going on with Office Max? This happened to be two days ago. This mouse is supposed to be 12 bucks. This calendar is supposed to be 12 bucks. Well, where'd you find the mouse? Where the hell do you think I found it? In the mouse section. So I take her over there. I point Keep in out mind, the, this is all over a wireless mouse and a day planner. I pointed out the, the price tag on the shelf, and it said, Logitech, wireless mouse, 12 bucks. And she takes the price tag off the shelf, puts it in her pocket, and says, this isn't supposed to be here. And I'm not supposed to get angry about that, so I grab another mouse, right? And I said, fine, I'll get this one instead. Now let me show you where I found this calendar. She takes me to the calendar section. I said, I found it right here. What does this say? Twelve ninety nine. And she said, oh, somebody must have put it in the wrong place. Oh, I said, the voice like you were doing it in the uh, office. Uh, oh, it no belong here. And I said, uh, <laughs> well, then why is it here? Oh, someone put it here. It no be here. No should be here. And... Uh, there's this other employee standing right next to us, and I said, you know what? This is, uh, boom, I w lost it. I said, this is where I snap. This is where I snap. I said, you know what? This is effing ridiculous. Here's a crazy novel idea. Why don't you put price tags on your actual items? He's you screaming know, in I'm, an office, Max. I'm screaming. I said, this is ridiculous. The other employee turns to me and he says, you know, you know what is ridiculous is customers who can't put stuff back where they find it. I lost it even further. I said, <laughs> I've never I've never in my life done this, by the way. I instantly started swearing to his face, and I called him an a-hole like ten times. I'm like, what? You a-hole? Uh, uh, what did I say? Bread and butter. Yeah. That, thank, you, thank you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to blame your bread and butter for the, your mistakes. <laughs> bread and butter being the customer. <laughs> customer. It's your job to make sure these are in the right places. And somehow it's my fault that I pick up a calendar that says 12 bucks, and then you ring it up as 16 bucks, and you're blaming the customer? You're an A. Where's your manager? <laughs> <laughs> and I am walking, and this other woman is holding like four file of faxes. She, it looked like she was about to start crying. Now, you're just joining us. We're out. talking about a Wireless mouse and a day planner. Which were clearly wrongly marked. <laughs> so we go back to the register. She rings up the mouse that I had picked up that was like supposed to be like whatever, twenty four ninety nine. She rings it up, thirty four ninety nine. I'm like are we going to go through this whole thing again? You know, and I start screaming, and I get me your effing manager. And then I'm finally talking to the manager, and uh, I said, I need to have a word with you. I was in here two days ago looking for calendars, and the same exact thing happened to me. And just as I'm telling him the story, the calendar man walks by, and I'm like, that guy with the handlebar mustache, that a-hole should not be working for you. You better rethink his working for you, because he's an embarrassment. How dare... Is it my fault that everything is marked wrong? You have it marked as 12 bucks. It should be 12 bucks. You should honor this. And somehow, it's my fault that you're ringing it up wrong. <laughs> my temples are... I don't know why, but I was freaking out. Probably because it was the second time in two days that this happened. 
And am I crazy to think that if you go to a store and it says, you know, cup of coffee, $1, and then you go to ring it up and it's $4, and then they go to the cup of coffee and they say, oh, that price tag shouldn't have been there. Well, then fix the effing price tag. I got three words, anger management. Right. It's not my fault that you can't get your prices right. Office Max.